and e and cost insurance companies more than $21 billion, according to the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation. And now one of Florida's largest insurers will add $1 million to the total. The OIR issued a seven-figure fine to Heritage Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Wink News consumer reporter Andreana Shepard explains why and the message this sends to other insurers. More than 450,000 homeowners filed a claim after Hurricane Ian as of April 2024. That's according to the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation. Now Heritage Property and Casualty Insurance Company is on the hook for $1 million for mishandling some of theirs. The insurer has close to 150,000 Florida policies. Insurance Mark Friedlander with the Insurance Information Institute describes insurance companies as financial first responders oh God, after disaster. <gasps> God, oh my God. Their promise is to take care of their policyholders in time of loss. And based on the investigation by the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation, Heritage did not deliver on its promise to its policyholders. The OIR's seven page examination report breaks down why Heritage has to fork over so much money. It found the insurer broke a number of Florida laws, including that the insurer didn't pay or deny some claims in 90 days and didn't acknowledge some in 14 days. On top of that, OIR says the company used adjusters who were not properly licensed and didn't keep complete claims records. The examination report also found the company broke one of its own policies by not calling a homeowner within a day of their claim filing. Friedlander adds this sends a clear message to insurers and policyholders. Insurers will be held accountable and policyholders will be supported by the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation. And it's not often insurance companies get fined in this state. This is the second largest fine an insurer has ever had to pay. The regulator means business and they are not just all talk. They are taking actions. And when they said they were going to investigate the situation, they did it. Heritage has agreed to pay that fine, according to the OIR, and it has to pay that fine in the next nine days. But where will that million dollars go? An OIR spokesperson in Tallahassee is looking into that for me. I reached out to Heritage, but I haven't heard back yet. Back to you.